Hey, ladies and gents. So I'm going to make the fourth and final video for the day. This one's going to be more of a troubleshooting. So I was talking with someone last week and they had an issue with uh, one of their mods and the quest suddenly wouldn't start. Now, I do want to explain. I, I offered to, to help him and he sent me the info, but he was using Anniversary Edition and I always do everything in LE. So unless you have the other games installed, you can't load up their mods, you know, so I wasn't able to look at it myself. But I'm going to show you the most common things that happen if all of a sudden your quest won't start in your modding quest. So here we go. We still got the same one up I've been working on today, but I added an alias. So the first thing, if you go in and you can't get your quest to start, sometimes it starts silently. And I've mentioned this quite a few times. So in here, on your first stage zero, whatever your startup stage is, make sure it's checked here, startup stage. Make sure that you've click this and open it and it had a set objective with an objective to go that all needs to happen for the quest to start for an objective to show or it won't show the quest started even if it did make sure in this same one you don't have shutdown stage checked make sure you don't have complete quest check go to other ones and make sure you don't also have startup stage in two places there are many different things to so make sure this here doesn't set to stage 20, which automatically will shut it down or whatever's gonna work. That's the first thing to check. Uh, the next thing to check, which actually is the most common thing, is an alias. So as you add an alias, first of all, if you already have a quest that's saved into the save game files and you've added an alias after that, it's gonna fuck your quest up. So the alias is a touchy. There is a way around it and so first of all, in every alias I use, and I recommend to use in all of them, and I'll open this alias up, you should have allow reserved, which that means that if this NPC or whatever is in this alias is already used in another quest, it can be reserved to be used here. Another one is optional, which means usually the quest will start and it doesn't have to fill at the moment. When the quest doesn't start, it usually means the there's an alias that can't fill, so it won't allow the quest to start. Uh, optional means it will start either way because the alias is optional. I always use that, and I always check allow reuse in the quest in case I have to use it as a map marker, map marker more than once. Okay, That's very simple, but sometimes that still won't cut it. So I'm going to cancel that and take it out. So if you go into your data folder... And if you scroll down through, I think this one was called Just a Test, right? So if I was to take and find the ESP file for this, where I scrolled way past that, uh, blah, 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 right there. I'm going to copy this. Now, I'm going to show you in a second why I'm going to do this. I'm going to copy this, shut all this stuff down, shut all this stuff down. No, don't save it. Shut this down. And I'm going to paste this right here. Now, that's going to be my backup to do this testing. So... The first thing I check now, and I learned this the hard way, because when I first started making Skyrim Shrouded Secret, I made this long quest line, all of a sudden it wouldn't start anymore. And it ended up being one NPC I'd added in an alias in uh, Iverstead. And no matter what I did with her in that alias, the quest would not start. So the first thing I do, because I just saved a backup, is I double check the first quest stages I showed you, and then I delete all aliases. Now that sounds like a pain in the ass, but if you delete them, close it out and save, then go, I'm not going to go in because I don't have a quest not working right now, then go in and try to start your quest with no aliases in there. If the quest starts then, then the problem was in the alias. This is where you go back to here, you copy this back because this is your backup, go to data right here, paste it in, and replace the file on destination. With doing that, now you have to shut your creation kit down and restart it. Because you've already saved in there, and you've got to restart it. If your aliases don't work, it's something to do in your quest stages where you quest start and stop. The one other thing to worry about is start game enabled. Now, when you have a start game enabled quest, you have to use the sec file. Now, you can create the sec file, but if you make new dialogue in certain areas, you've got to create a new sec file. But if you create a new sec file in the wrong time, it screws the whole quest up. So that's another thing to test. Remove aliases and remove the start game enabled and try to manually start your quest. I hope this helps someone that's having an issue that doesn't go through the hours of frustration that I went through. I hope you guys have a good day.